so, uh... Heimrith, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, like, uh... We have one more time to get here. I don't know how to activate that. Considering the blue ones just kind of come whenever they feel like it. So where is this one at? Ah, that's easy. We literally know where that one is. We just did it. That's uh, right in front of the Twilight Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that this one only opened up because we did the Twilight Bell area. Hey, are you, are you still... Wow! I thought that you guys were cured. So much for level consistency. Jeez. Come on, guys. What are you playing at? I thought that'd be nicer. Maybe they're always just the grounds or something. Oh yeah, thank you for helping our thank you for helping our, our goats become normal. Oh. I mean they're still gonna push you off, but at least they're normal. Oh yeah, gee, thanks. I feel like I did so much. I do gotta go up this thing again, so I'll meet you back when we get to the front of the of the Twilight Bell. All right, and here we are. What do you got? Please disregard my twitchy behavior. Ah, uh, we can go ahead. And... What? We can go ahead and buy this. Why not? We won't need it for anything else, considering this is the last time ripped of the game. But. I guess it's nice to have. So yeah, this is the last time ripped. Hmm. All right, and this is obviously Alpine Heights themed with all the uh, angry goats stomping around. Really, it's actually kind of one thing I kind of wanted to talk about during when we had a chance. Oh shoot, we, we still need a mask. Wait a second. I think I misunderstood something. I think I know what I have to do. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there's something I wanted to, to kind of talk about when we... Oh, I didn't get it that time. There we go. Okay. Is that, um... The heck? Oh, look at that. Why didn't I make that? Well, that's what happens when I don't concentrate. There we go, thank you. Alright, so the thing I wanted to talk about is that this game actually has some really awesome mods and a pretty active modding community because not not too long ago the developers of uh, Gears for Breakfast made a uh, made like modding tools available to everybody and they opened up the Steam Workshop so People have been making some pretty awesome mods, and I've actually been kind of interested to, to uh, check them out. Um, the cosmetic stuff, I don't really care about. I mean, there's some cool cosmetic stuff, don't get me wrong. Some really awesome cosmetic stuff. But, what I'm really interested in is people have actually kind of made levels that with, uh, they've actually made new levels with new uh, time pieces to collect.
So I think that's uh that's actually pretty cool. Uh cookie dough. But yeah, that's that was that was timepiece thirty nine. So if we go back in, we'll see that we are completely done with chapter four. Everything is completed. Which means that uh, everything else in the game is complete as well. We've completed chapters one, two, three, and four completely. Um, which means the only thing we have left to do is to do the final area. Which really isn't an area, it's more like just the final challenge and then the final boss. Oh jeez, look at this color scheme. I'm all yellow. Why does cookie dough have two stars next to it? Oh, is that how rare it is or something? Um, hey, before we start the final area, let's actually use this machine that I've never used before. But it's it's something different. It's 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 just you go back to here again. Ah, uh, that's kind of cool. Did I the sprint hat is like a, oh I remember I I actually used this. That's pretty cool. The uh, the sprint hat like becomes a steampunk kind of a uh, hat. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Uh no. Uh, well, I guess I don't really have a choice now, do I? How do I look? Oh, look, I'm... I'm blue now. That's my attack. You gotta have the blue hair. No! The freedom. What does this look like? Oh, my hair is purple now. Oh, I'm apparently I'm I'm apparently an anime now at this point. No, I will never get this one. Stop it. That's actually kind of cool. I like that one. Uh, the dweller mask. That's that's pretty awesome. I like that. You really can't beat the original one with the glowy eyes, but this one's actually pretty cool. As well. Oh, look, the. Uh, the badges are, uh, two badges are stuck on her horns. That's, that's funny. Wait a second, is that one the one I think it is? The forest critter. Wait a second. Oh, this is it! This is the one! This is the one that, uh, makes you look like Link. She has green clothes and, uh, blonde hair. I want to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one on if you guys don't mind. Because he looks like Link. <laughs> That's awesome. I want that one. It's cool. Mmm. Mmm. Let Captain of the Sea. Eh. How many tokens do I have? I have a lot of these things. No! I've been cursed. All right, we're stopping. No, we'll, we'll keep going. Oh, well, what do you know? I, I have to stop. All right, um, before we do the final area, I kind of wanted to go back and do train rust with that, with that new music. Swap music. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think that means that it's selected. All right. 
Train Rust Electro Swing Remix is really awesome. So I wanted to go back and uh, do that one real fast. Uh, I probably won't talk during it, just so we can listen to the song. kind of hoping for because that uh, the part with the train cars that gets cut off uh, I always mess that part up like every single time so <laughs> yeah so uh didn't do it perfectly but I did it a lot better than I did the first time so hope you enjoy that music I guess I, I guess I didn't do as good, but does that not count towards his uh, total? 
Let me see. Does that does that not count? I guess not. Oh boy. All right. 